Hello, everybody, Hello. and welcome back. It welcome. is currently almost 10 o'clock on Tuesday night. The cats are going crazy, and we have to get up early, but we're still going to record this stuff for you guys. We're still doing the thing. My name's Alyssa, by the way. I'm Marlene. And this is What's Your Favorite Scary Story? Where you send us your suggestions of what your favorite scary story is, and we talk about it except it's a little different right now yeah usually that's how it goes but uh it's crunch time everybody literally what like three weeks and five days i think (laughs) until we are betrothed as as wife and wife i am tired yes you are i've had a long day we both have to get up early tomorrow i'm getting up i think at the same time as you 5 30 oh really oh yeah you get yeah i go in early tomorrow well that's good yeah, I know. I'm kind of excited to get ready together. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're still doing this for you guys. Um, we're just going to get right into it, I think, because then I have to go right into editing after this. All right, so we're going to actually keep it very short. Very short tonight. So all of you people that don't like listening to us blabber about nothing, you're welcome. And you're on the Rod podcast. Like, yeah. you should know by now. <laughs> and if you don't know, is. and if you don't know, now you know. Yeah. You want to do your not not fun, fun, fun fact? Not so fun, fun facts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go it. Let's go it. Let's go it. Let's go it. <laughs> not so fun, fun facts with marbles. Alrighty, so um, I was kind of torn between two stories uh, this week because one of them is kind of strangely a lighter story than the other one, which okay. is kind of, you know, I mean, take take what you will with that. But I, um, I decided to go with the not so the most not so fun fact um i'm ready for it uh so this one is about a i don't know if we can consider it a creepy pasta okay but i guess it's assumed that it started as a creepy pasta got it it is called um I, I don't think it has a name it's just what they called this thing or this person um and they go by smart schoolboy 9 have you heard of them? I haven't. I I don't. I don't. I feel like I only know like the really popular creepy pastas. Okay, so this one came on my YouTube feed mm-hmm. a, okay. a day ago or something. And um, if you've ever seen, if you know what I'm talking about, if you've ever seen a uh, smart school bo- schoolboy nine, um, which I'm not gonna call him that because it just considering the whole story, um, we'll just call him. Um, what, what should we call a horrible thing? Um, um, the th- suckhead. Suckhead. Okay. If you've ever seen Suckhead, um, you'll understand what I mean by creepy because the, the picture of them, him, it, kind of gives very, like, creepy, um, uh, what do you call it? Uncanny. Ugh. Um, uncanny Valley. Yeah, Uncanny Valley look. It's like in the middle of that and like that dummy from Goosebumps, like the ventriloquist dummy. Oh, uh, I guess I could kind of see mo- that. It's like a person version of that, right? If that makes sense. Yeah, and um, you know the thing about creepy bosses is that they're usually fake, right. right? They're just online on 4chan or whatever, and unfortunately, this one. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, this one isn't really all that fake um and some people might consider it a real life boogeyman and uh it started off in an oh my god (laughs) in an instagram account um by the username smart schoolboy nine suckhead suckhead and um I don't. I don't think the page is up anymore, which I hope not, considering what I know now. Mm-hmm. So the the YouTube video I saw, it was just like the clip of it on the what do you call it a thumbnail. Mm-hmm. And because it's creepy, I really wanted to watch it, but I was like, maybe if I just read about it instead, it won't be as creepy to me. 
uh-huh. um, because I just read the comments first, and then they were like, I shouldn't have watched this at night and <laughs> all this stuff. And I was like, this isn't... Those are not for are you to things. watch at night, no. that's for sure. So it all began in October 2021 when an Instagram profile posted a video about another account um, accusing the account of posing of a man of pose, posing as a child and um, basically trying to lure mm-hmm. yep. uh, other kids. Yep, right. right. And, um, but according to that original bio, are you seeing that? With yeah. Arlo? That was, was actually really early. cute. Arlo is like hardcore committed to attacking his tail at all costs. But and he, he was lo- doing this like jumpy thing. He looks thingy. really cute yeah. when he's doing it. Anyways, back to the horrible suckhead. So, so the account owner, the that creepy account, um, and and its bio, it said that it was being ran by a woman and her twelve-year-old son. Ew. Um, so sh- sh- they were posting normal pictures of each other, like of themselves, kind of mm-hmm. thing, until eventually, um, the face of her son started being heavily edited. And she would put, I guess, like this weird white makeup over her son's face oh and start enlarging God. his lips. So it's, he just didn't look like real, real anymore. What the heck? And uh, it got to a point where he, most of them looked like cartoonish, and the captions would talk about how much he loved going to school. And so, um, eventually, pictures of that son's face were being uploaded on the page with photoshopped onto bodies of, like, half-naked women, basically. Ew! Yeah, it got really fucking weird. And, uh, anyway, we're just gonna skip to mostly the end. But people started assuming that it's this, um, this man posing as a... Right. Because it just the page got really weird and predatory in a sense. And he would comment on specifically those comments that were calling him out. Um, and eventually people found out who the owner of the account oh, is. Shit. And um, claiming that they had seen him dressed up exactly like this little boy with a white okay. makeup and big red lips. And his hair slicked back and just all weird and um, at playgrounds. And ew, assuming, ew, ew. No, yeah, what the heck? Assuming that he, he was probably also mentally ill and schizophrenic because he would pretend to be playing with other little oh kids, God. even though no one was there with him. So, it's, yeah. Babe, I don't like it. Yeah. I don't so like this it is either. that's just the creepy pasta. It's not a creepy pasta. Is the thing they actually oh. found the name of this man, but I I don't want to talk about. I don't. I, you know no, how I am. Yeah, we're not we're not giving things. we're not giving any attention to him but either. Like the, the actual person. But if you're interested, um, the creepy pasta. Uh, I'm. I don't know if we, I can call it. It's not a creepy pasta. It's actually like they found this man. Right. And, but like is. So, like, it actually happened, but is there, like, that story on Creepypasta now, or? Yeah, yeah, he's okay. a whole... So, it became, it turned into a Creepypasta. At a, some point, it turned into a Creepypasta, because nobody really knew if it was real or not. Uh-huh. And because this man actually lives in England, which we're, where we're going. I've been hearing so many, st- <laughs> I swear, the last three episodes of my podcast happened in England. So, like... this guy, uh, I think right now, he's, like, 54 years old, and, uh-huh. like doing this stuff and there's a name to him um so it it became a creepypasta because it seems even the pictures like look like Mm -hmm. the videos it looks like it's uh, something someone would just make up to creep someone out but it looks like it's kind of legit and there's a name to him and um yeah they found out who he was so yeah. Uh, but there's nothing like okay. boys i know it's upsetting but i'm gonna need you to calm down over i there. don't i don't think they've found anything on mm-hmm. him kind of thing so 
That's why people are saying that he's probably just mentally ill. But I don't know. I just think that's I mean, freaking but creepy. Still, that's like just a concerning because clearly there's. I feel like there's no one there like helping him, or you know, like because right. even if it, he is mentally ill, like he could still do something. Right. It seems, and just the fact that it was passed off as a fake story for a while right. and then it turned out he was actually he is real yeah and it's like people are saying like well i have nothing to worry about because i'm in the u.s and like stuff like that but well i bet you there's a u.s version over here you guys i think people they're suck. everywhere yeah yeah i think so, all the countries have the bad people in them yeah so so be aware be aware don't trust people i mean trust people but like keep, sort your, of. keep your guard up you know don't just trust anybody. Yeah. Because you never know. Which is funny, just as a quick sidetrack, too. Um, I came across this video of... No, actually, I don't want to talk about it. It's going <laughs> to... Okay. I'll just mention... I'll talk to you about it after. Okay, sounds good. Um, but if you were curious about what I was going to talk about, did you also know that there are these, like, vampire... <laughs> on track. Vampire birds in the Galapagos Island? That, that sounds familiar. That drink blood. Mm-hmm. Like they feed off of another animal's blood and that's it. Man. Like they drink blood. Wow. I read that it's because of the how scarce is that the name? Uh huh. Um. The, what the word? Like uh, limited. The, yes. The the drinkable water is on the Galapagos Island. Oh, that's, wow. Supposedly, I I read that. I saw that, but I didn't know like. Interesting. If it was true or not. Anyways, Which also, another no, fun before fact. Before we move on, what was the thing you were going to talk about, but now you're not going to talk about, but you were going to tell them what it is? That's why I said the second fun fact be- to distract people from the fact that I wasn't going to talk about the video. Oh, I thought you were going to tell them in case they wanted to look it up too. No, this is just for my entertainment okay. purposes only. I don't want to share it with anybody. Except so, for me later, right? Yeah, no, not anymore, actually. Oh, man. So nobody gets to know what I was going to say. So anyway, Sorry. Galapagos Island. Did you know that Charles Darwin, that's where he did his study? I did not. Thank There's you. There's many things I don't know about Charles Darwin, so I definitely didn't know where he studied. Yeah, Galapagos Island. Cool, I guess that's cool, like cool. a really um, sacred place where you can really get like the full spectrum of the beginning like how life progresses or um maybe that's why um there's not so much drinkable water there because that's where it started <laughs> and so they just kind of ran out not so fun for <laughs> theories with Alyssa. not so true theories with not Alyssa. so smart theories with Alyssa. <laughs> I'm just saying things at this point. Alrighty, let's get All right, to Are it. you done with your fact? Uh, yes. Facts. 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 Big facts. <laughs> yes. Okay, you're done. Cool. My funny, turn. Funny story, too. Um, of I course. said, <laughs> I said, oh, I, I'm going to cuss. I actually, thank- I actually do cuss a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, thank you for the warning. Um, um, proceed. Uh, today, I said, I, oh, actually, I fuck with that. Uh-huh. And my coworker Patty was like, "What does that even mean? What are you saying?" <laughs> like, "Oh, I fuck with it." And she's like, "Right, oh, but like, what God. is that? What are you saying?" Like, and I was like, "Um, uh, <laughs> like, I dig it. Like, I mean, right? yeah. I mean, I guess that's like, is that maybe a California thing? Because I don't know. There's like, there's even differences between like Southern and Northern California. When I went to college, like people." up there didn't say like oh yeah i'm down let's go like they wouldn't say i'm down when they were willing to do something oh yeah heck yeah i'm down you know yeah yeah, i guess but i'm like i feel like what like context clues for me it was um (laughs) the difference in that was in in areas i guess it Mm -hmm. was uh and another another warning if you don't like marijuana's but um (laughs) Like smoking, like smoking, like smoking a bowl, uh-huh. keeping it cherried, like oh it's cherried, and like East Coast East Coast people like to I think it's like, uh, it's like rolling, oh like oh it's rolling, mm. and it it didn't. 
like I, I can't remember what what it it's just hard it's just like those terms like it meant right. it meant something different to like east so coast people versus like with us or when i lived in phoenix um the word faded meant oh yeah you've talked about yeah that. what what does it mean in california and to my knowledge like like hi right but in phoenix people use it as drunk drunk yeah i mean would you i mean it it, I could see it going both ways. We just only heard it with high, but right, yeah. Anyways, Which, is uh, it my uh, turn? Let yet? me just clear my my tracks here. Okay. I, I do not smoke the weeds. Right, right. I don't do drugs. We don't. We don't do illegal things. I don't do illegal things. I just want to cover my tracks just Good. in case. I know you like to do that. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna go now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. We're good. <laughs> okay. So, as we mentioned in the beginning and all the other episodes before this recently, I don't have the time to commit to, like, real legit stories each week because of our freaking wedding that's happening in less There's than a month. There's only so much time in a day. Is You're that right? the commercial? Like, from the infomercial? Things? Yeah, is that the infomercial? Is that sure. how she said Yeah, it? I could see that. I ha- I'd have to see it. There's see only so many hours in a day. I think that's how it Yeah, goes. exactly. I feel her. So I'm picking the stories until our wedding so that uh, we could do a little short shorties and I don't want to pull my hair out every day. Um, so I did still kind of want people's input at least a little bit. So I put a poll on last week's episode about like what subject you guys wanted to hear about. And, um, Which, if you didn't vote, you're a freaking loser. So, lame. like, capital L. Like, you freaking suck, bro. But, yeah, so I'm going to just get into my story, and you will you guys will kind of figure out what topic I'm going with today. But I still love you. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Disclaimer, though. Um, I, 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 like, didn't even want to tell this, but it's just such a fascinating story to me. But it makes me really sad. It's sad, and it's pretty graphic. And so just disclaimer about uh, sad things with animals. Anyways, I'm going to start now. As in like... You'll see. Oh, yay, yay. Okay. So on September 7th, (gasps) 1967, (gasps) in the San Luis Valley of Colorado, an Appaloosa horse by the name of Snippy did not come home for dinner, which What's by the an Appaloosa horse, it's, first of all, it's like a type of horse. Yeah, I, I mean, why? I forget. I knew it before. Is but. that why you you added that? Give me a minute. Did you just assume everyone would know what an apple horse is? Yep. Baby, please explain what an apple. Oh, it's horse like a is. cookies and cream horse. Look, it's cute. Uh, the horse is brown and. Brown, it's brown, it's white. brown and white splotchy. Yeah, it's actually really freaking cute. It's pretty. Now you have to put that horse in the. Oh, I will. You have to of like just a picture of the horse though. Like, don't add anything scary to it. Like, well, I'll do the horse and other things. Yes, I mean, like, give like an honorary little square to the horse. Yeah, of course. Okay. Of horse. Of horse. <laughs> <laughs> I've been like on fire with those lately. <laughs> Unfortunately, like that one, for for four chan. That one was good. That was pretty yeah, funny. Was we didn't give good. that enough uh, glory earlier. Yay! The first clap of the episode <laughs> took a while this time. Anyways, an Appaloosa horse by the name of Snippy did not come home for dinner. Which, by the way, I guess her real name was Lady, and her her like dad horse was named Snippy. And there's also theories that she was just given this nickname Snippy later on. I think I know so where we're headed. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call her Lady from now on because that was actually her name. Um, she was stabled at the Harry King Ranch but was let out every day to roam free. But she always came back because she wanted to get her dinner. But on September 7th, 1967, she did not make it home. Two days later, the owner of the ranch, Mr. King, found Lady's body about a quarter mile from the ranch house. She was, unfortunately, not alive, and even worse, was in horrible, horrible condition, and in, like, a very odd way. 
Okay. This isn't fun. No, it's not fun, but I had to tell it. Okay. So, up next is, like, the very graphic and sad part that I mentioned. Um, Lady's head and neck were completely stripped of flesh. Not only that, the bones that were left exposed were completely clean. Not one single bit of flesh left on them. And they were totally stark white as if they had been exposed to the sun for months. That's crazy. Because it takes a while for bone mm-hmm. to like calcify or yeah. whatever. Yeah, like heart, like yeah, like bones that you just find of mm-hmm. animals in the right. desert. Like it takes a while for them to look like that. Yeah, but plus, um, uh, uh like weathering and mm-hmm. things like that. Yeah. So that that's pretty freaking crazy. It is. And so the rest of her body, though, was completely untouched. So the next day, Mr. King returned to the horse's body with her owners and they wanted to like, you know, figure out how she died in this really weird way. Um, But they just got more questions. First of all, there was no blood on or around the horse whatsoever. Also, the flesh that had been removed seemed to have been done very neatly with medical precision, like a clean cut around the neck kind of thing that's crazy so it's like it wasn't mauled or anything right um there were multiple darkened patches in the ground in the vicinity of the horse that looked like scorch or exhaust marks about a hundred yards away they found a shrub that was squashed flat and also nearby was a series of six small round indentations in the ground arranged in a circle Yeah, Uh, some more like alleged strange things that happened are at one point the exposed bones appeared to be bright pink one person reported that her palm became incredibly itchy after handling some fur and the air around the body had a sickly sweet smell so I think you all can kind of tell what we're getting at here. Uh, Yes. The the explanation that came to everyone's minds was aliens. That's what won the poll, by the way, was aliens. Yay. Yay. We like aliens. We do like aliens. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Nobody could figure out how this could have happened. And aliens was the only thing that made sense. And actually, this case was the very first to basically like speculate that aliens could have something to do with mutilations mm-hmm. at all. Um, and to support this claim, the ranch owner's mother, Agnes, saw a large object pass over the ranch house the day of Lady's disappearance. So naturally, they tried reaching out like for help or insight, I guess. So they called the county sheriff, and he told them the death was probably due to a lightning strike, and he never even visited the site. Also, an Air Force-funded team from CU Boulder investigated and blamed the tragedy on literally just an infection. Wow. Yeah. But, like, that clean cut. Right. The (laughs) scorches around the Mm -hmm. body. The smell. Yeah. Which, the smell also makes sense, because cows are, like, steak and stuff, so... Horse. Oh, I was thinking cows because it's Appaloosa ca- horse. Yeah, because it's been. It, um, I mean, to be fair, people also eat horse. Or we. This sad. The story's already sad enough, baby. We don't okay. need to talk about. That. Um. Yeah, but it, I know that like the whole alien, mm-hmm. animal thing, or, or cattle and um, horses. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, like what they yeah, cause will it, kind of attack. Yeah, yeah, because it reminds me of um, those signs that they have. I think it's in Nevada or New Mexico. It's like those street signs, the mm-hmm. diamond signs with a, a cow and a UFO over oh, it. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, you know, as we've been saying, like, of course, their explanations don't explain the missing flesh from the horse's head. Right. like Or the precision cuts. Right. People did explain it away. They said, you know, 
scavengers could be to blame. Uh, there's also the theory that the horse got startled and started running and ran into like this barbed wired fence and yeah, like got bro. skinned. But I'm like, neither of these theories explain the bones being like completely, completely, completely right. free of flesh. The cut around the neck being, you know, perfect, like we were saying, and then the bones being super, super white. Right. Yeah, like, and that like would take just a month. Being skinned, being skinned that well. Like, like I, I, I I'm assuming it, it's not easy to, like, skin and... Right. I'm, I'm assuming that's not an easy process either. No. And it's like the scavengers thing, like, it would not look the way that it looked if it was scavengers. Right. Um, oh, and then there's no blood anywhere. That, which is like, also weird. There would be blood somewhere. Or a, a trail. Somewhere. Something. Or even on the horse. Like, there yeah. was no blood showing on the horse anywhere. Um, oh, and I also forgot to mention, there were green globs and a piece of metal with horse hair wrapped around it found in some bushes. What the heck? When the horse's owner, Nellie, touched this stuff, her hands burned until she could go and wash them. Oof, I burned my finger today in the comal. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry. And then my dumbass, I burned my, my, I burned my left index finger, and I was like, ouch, wow, I'm such a dumbass. And then I burned my right index finger because I don't want to burn my left index finger. And uh, I missed the tortilla got stuck on the comal. So, like, I just, like, lightly grabbed it, but my finger slipped because uh. it was stuck. And my finger lightly grazed the comal. And it was a fun time. Your mom needs to give you lessons. No, I know how to I'm get kidding. Them. I'm kidding. <laughs> we just need a better comma. <laughs> no, my dumbass just, I just freaking, I don't know. I, I didn't grab it quick enough. I'm also tired and I have a headache, so. Okay, I'm sorry. Moving on. Um, I'm sorry about your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so, also a United States Forest Service employee uh, showed up with the Geiger counter and the area areas and the areas on the oh my god stop throwing stuffed animals that are real animals um, so this guy showed up with the Geiger counter in the areas on the ground where there were burn marks were found to be radioactive as well as the green glob and piece of metal radioactive yep there it is there, aliens there she blows UFOs at least right right which are something aliens. from not here yeah extraterrestrials um, yeah and during this same time period there were other nearby strange occurrences one man said his car caught on fire was followed by an object shaped like a top like the like toy that you spin yeah um, a college student said both his rear tires blew out as he approached an object as it sat in a field, and two sheriff's deputies were followed by an orange globe, and I guess they were threatened with their jobs if they wrote reports on it. What? Yeah. Yo, that's hella sketch. <laughs> Super sketch. Like, bro. That's crazy. Uh, so, a few days after the horse was found, the police found a pathologist... Dr. John Altschuler trespassing after dark at the nearby Great Sand Dunes. He begged the, the police to keep his name a secret because he didn't want to ruin his reputation because he was out watching for UFOs. Mm. So after speaking with the doctor, they learned his area of expertise was blood coagulation because he was a pathologist. Right. So they agreed to let him off the hook if he agreed to come down to the ranch and check out the remains to see if he could make some sort of sense of what happened. Um, after examining the body, the doctor discovered that the horse's lungs, heart, and thyroid were all missing, removed with some of the cleanest cuts he'd ever seen. The brain and abdominal organs were also gone and there was no material in the spinal column <laughs> you slid shut up <laughs> i didn't think they'd hear it but you had to point it out of course <laughs> but isn't that crazy that is crazy yeah it was done with such precision no one even like noticed that the the horse had been like had surgery done on the rest of its body like that's insane bro all of its organs are gone like how do you explain that you can't like, that's not scavengers. That's not a barbed wire fence. 
It's insane. Yeah, I know. Um, so I guess many years later, this doctor told a reporter, I have done hundreds of autopsies. Okay. Children. <laughs> I saw it happening. Uh, again. <laughs> just, I was just intrigued. Okay. I have done hundreds of autopsies. You can't cut into a body without getting some blood. But there was no blood on the skin or the ground. No blood anywhere. The outer edges of the skin were cut firm, almost as if they had been cauterized by by a modern day laser. But there was no cauterizing laser technology like that in 1967. Oh. What? No, it's just like, even if like someone tried to pull a joke or whatever or get revenge it's like first of all you'd have to be really freaking good at doing this Mm -hmm. and you must have done it before which is creepy Mm -hmm. if you think about a person doing it um but also like for what you know Mm -hmm. why would a human do this i don't know but yeah, that was the unsolved story of Lady the Horse. Wow, poor lady. Rip poor lady. lady. Claps for lady. It's so sad, but it's so fascinating. I it had to tell it. Yeah, and it was like a quick a, a quick story I knew about. Yeah. And so I figured the people wanted aliens. That's I'm pretty good. sure we gave them aliens. Yeah, we gave them aliens. Good job, yeah. babe. Thank you. Um, My question is... Well, I have a theory. It's a question and my theory. Okay. Um, why would aliens need um, horses or or cattle? And I mean, stuff? isn't like the majority of like why we think they abduct us is for like like just to study us? Like they pro- they don't have like horses. Maybe they right. were just curious or something. Right. So it does kind of give you like. At least to me, I'm like, okay, at least it's not freaking humans. Mm. You know, like, poor cows and poor... Right. I mean, even even if they are studying us, like, at least it's just kind of... From what we've known Mm -hmm. from stories of people who recall these events, at least they get dropped back. Right, yeah, I guess that's true. Because honestly, if you think about it for cows, like for cattle and stuff, it makes sense... Because um, cows produce a lot of methane, and methane is one of the like building blocks of life. Hmm. Like you know, you along with know oxygen, that. carbon, methane, mm-hmm. um, zinc. I, I don't know. It's not zinc. It's something <laughs> else. But it, it would make sense because they're, it, to make life, mm-hmm. you need like right. make methane. I mean, if that's, like, what they're going for, though. Which, okay, but also going back to, like, how you were saying, well, at least we get dropped back off. What if, like, that is a good amount of the missing persons cases out there? What if they just never got dropped back off? It could be, or it could also just be the elites, which... I mean... Obviously, yes, that is part of it. But I'm just saying there's a lot of missing people out there. Uh, Hillary Clinton, please explain. that. <laughs> uh, maybe you should cut that out. I don't know. How did we get here? Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. Aliens are is definitely one of the categories that fascinates me so much, but also is so incredibly <sighs> terrifying. It is terrifying. Because we don't know. And a good bedtime story. Yeah. And on that note. On that note. Like- <laughs> time for bed, y'all. I got to pee. <laughs> Gotta edit this shit. And then I'm gonna I want a little snack before bed. I I'm think I burned out. it. I think I'm just gonna drink some water and knock out. Probably. It's a good plan. But good as plan. always, thank you guys so much for listening. Thank I, you for listening. I hope you like this week's episode. I hope episode. you like this week's episode. I did. I did. I'm so glad you I'm agree so glad with, you everything agree with everything, everything I have to say. To say. <laughs> I love you, babe. I love you. Uh, I'm sorry for being a jerk. It's okay. I've agreed to marry it in three weeks and five days. Uh, <laughs> yeah, actually, you do, so. I do. Uh, yeah, you do. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. We see you. We, we appreciate, appreciate you. you. <gasps> and we love you, and we still remember want to hear your suggestions for what you want to hear me cover after our wedding. That was an interesting sentence. I don't really quite know what I said. <laughs> 
anyways, send in those suggestions. I promise I'll get to them after the wedding. You can send them to... What's your favorite scary story at gmail.com. Or, or DM us at... What's your favorite scary story on okay. Instagram. Uh, you can feel free to send us... Um, we, we've gotten a couple suggestions, actually, that I'm like interested mm-hmm. in. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get to them, for yeah. sure. Um, but also feel free to say what's up just say hi yeah say hi say what's up how's your day um you know what are your plans are you doing let, anything let us know cool for let us October? know what your favorite part of the podcast is are you doing uh halloween horror nights this year what was your favorite story are you um are you planning to go to the i don't i don't know just, just that's talk, enough just vamping to for tonight i think yeah just email us anything Anything your heart desires feels, feels like it needs to tell or us. Or hates. Or ask us questions. You have, if you have questions, we've had people kind of ask for, like, the do's and don'ts of, like, ghost hunting, which, like, obviously we're not experts, but it's just, like, it's cool to have people reach out to us for information. I'm like, what? Right. Or Me? also just, like, make, like, start a conversation. Yeah. And just, you know, just we reach We like out. new friends. We, yeah, we do like new friends. And, um... We're here to listen, and I hope that you enjoy tonight's very good show. They did. What? What is that from? I don't know, but you do it all the time, so I just quote you at this point. Tonight, we're going to have a really good show. I feel like it was in Family Guy, which was probably quoting something else that's, like, old. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll figure Most likely. that out. Anyways, on that note, we're going to let y'all go. On so that we note. Can go. And you all know, too... Stay spooky, 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 spooky. Stay spooky, bye.